Good morning. This is October the 10th, 2022. I think this is Columbus Day. Holiday here. <coughs> I'm going to shoot my bow a little bit here. <coughs> I hurt my arm the other day when I was cutting down a branch and it, uh, I've been unable to shoot, but I finally figured out what the problem was. A little bitty piece of that limb that struck me so hard stuck into my uh, arm. And I, at the time, I saw a little piece there, and I pulled it out. Well, apparently I didn't get it all out. And it had gotten infected with pus and all to try to push the rest of that out. And so it has um, been painful and all, but finally this morning, you know, I finally went ahead and manned up and pushed on it real good and the pus and blood came out. So the pressure is off of it now. So I'm, no need to show it to you. I showed it to you in a couple of videos ago, but uh, now that I understand what's really going on, I'm not afraid to pull the bow back. The pressure is off 90% on that muscle structure. And here I am, I'm gonna shoot, and remember the first shot is the one, only one that counts. Now I'm pretty darn close to the target <coughs> because the sun is coming up right now, and if I stand back there, it's right in my face. So it ought to be a piece of cake to hit the target in the right place. Let's see what I can do. Now I'm not afraid to pull the bow back. That was a good one. All right, what I want to talk about this morning, this thing is heating up. Now, a couple of videos ago, I was a name dropper, and I dropped the name of Juan 07, J-U-A-N-O, <coughs> S-A-V-I-N and I got quite a few hits on that however I didn't cheat because I talked about 107 it wasn't just to get hit now this morning I found out there's a good interview with 107 and Amelia what was her name? Love Love Amelia Love it's an hour and something I think you need to watch it now also we found out you can go on and get 107, what is it, dot com? 107daily.com. 107 107daily.com. And you'll have to get on there and you know, create give, you an account. Make you an account. And that is the uh, account to get a daily upset, update from one, 107. <laughs> we still don't know who 107 is, but he knows what's going on. What I heard this morning from him on that interview with Amelia Love, you know, I told you on the other video that 107 had predicted that there was going to be a nuclear scare event at least probably a year ago. And it's happening as we speak. They're just talking about it and talking about it in the news. So he was right about that. <clears throat> what he said several days ago was that they're going to <coughs> place Trump under house arrest. I guess at Mar-a-Lago. And that they had cut the trees down around Mar-a-Lago within the last few days. All of the trees and bushes <coughs> that have been there for many years. <clears throat> Apparently the reason is that once they put Trump under house arrest in Mar-a-Lago, the media is going to get all over it. The, and the public also. There's going to be, it's going to be a huge reaction. And they want, I would say the Trump people, want to have no obscure ob obscurity around the mansion so that the news, the people can see exactly what's happening because he's going to be in Mar-a-Lago under house arrest. 
This apparently is coinciding with the arrest of Hunter Biden. And uh, <clears throat> so I'm saying this is going to happen in the next few days. <clears throat> They're going to probably try to put Trump under arrest or indictment under house arrest. Uh, for supposedly starting an insurrection on January 6th. Now Trump also, apparently on his Truth Social platform, said the other day he was the rightful president, he really won the election, and that he thought they should reinstate him or put him on the ballot come November uh, 5th or whatever the day the election is. And that may also give them the other side uh, <clears throat> an excuse for putting him under house arrest, once again claiming that he's trying to start an insurrection or uh, a coup against the uh, Biden regime. This is what I'm hearing this morning. Didn't make any of this up. I, the the bow's not, I'm pulling it back just fine now. I don't know if there's anything still in my arm, some little piece of wood or something like that, but <clears throat> my body has created a volcano in there is what I call it, where it erupts with pus and blood and tries to eject that material out. It hasn't gone beyond the immediate area, so there may be some more of that. But it's amazing to sit and watch the miracle of the body healing itself. It's a miracle that happens every day. Millions and millions of times a day, people's bodies uh, healing themselves with no prompting. It's a miracle that <clears throat> we don't even notice because it just happens. But don't let anybody tell you there's no miracles today. This is a miracle that the body has the ability to heal itself. I think the body would heal itself from any disease if it was given the proper opportunity and not bothered or intervened with, or either you were in such bad shape that it, it just had gone too far. Let's walk over here and pull these arrows and look. So, I'd like to tell you, get on 107daily.com and check out what 107 is talking about. And the interview with 107 and Amelia Love is going to, uh, is really going to open your eyes. It's like a minute and 32 seconds. It's amazing. To look at that. This thing is heating up. All right, now. <clears throat> the main purpose of my videos is not archery. <coughs> and it's not <coughs> it's not 107 or Donald Trump it's to declare the name of Yeshua the Messiah before men Yeshua is the Hebrew name of Jesus and I'm declaring to you that he is the Messiah he is the Christ and that his purpose of intervening or putting himself into the world back 2,000 years ago to offer himself as the sacrificial lamb of, for which the sins of men would be forgiven or he would take on our punishment. Let me tell you something. I am going to show you my arm because I thought of something the other day. I'm going to show you this arm. Now I've been all been out of shape about this arm here and what had happened to me now this was a limb that whacked me while I was trying to put up a tree stand. And the reason I'm going to show you this arm 
is because it reminded me. <clears throat> you see that? Now that bothered me a good bit. And there's where the little thing is in there that's causing pus to come out. That'll that'll straighten itself out. <clears throat> My guess is that this, this is going to completely heal itself. I don't know what's in there, but it's not too big. <clears throat> you see that right there? Yeshua took that right there, worse even, on every inch of his body. When they beat him and whipped him and lashed him, every inch of his body. So, and for us, as punishment for us, and then was led to the cross to be crucified to take on the penalty for our sins okay I just want to tell you I thought about that the other day this is nothing here compared to what he went through I would like you to go to the New Testament portion of the Bible Matthew Mark Luke and John are the books of that Bible <coughs> and read about what happened with Yeshua the Messiah otherwise known as Jesus Christ a certain number of people are going to believe that story and are going to put their faith in him and are going to accept the forgiveness for sin that he offered and they in return according to what Yeshua said will receive a pardon from the death eternal death that will be imposed on people for their sins. If you are one of those people, this will strike a note somewhere in you and you'll begin to do and think about it and search it out. You may be one of the so-called lost sheep, which means you belong to him. He vowed to collect each one of his lost sheep. He, there won't be one of them that'll be lost in the long run. He'll find you, and he finds you with his words. And I'm doing what he said as one of those that was a lost sheep and have been found to um, accept him, research him, find out what's going on with him, with Yeshua the Messiah, and see if you might not be one of those lost sheep. He will spare no effort to find his lost sheep. And then to sacrifice his life in a brutal way in order to save you. Not just find you, but save you. So that he can cause you to enter in to eternal life in a place called the kingdom of heaven which is a vague and fuzzy place somewhere that apparently is not in this dimension or this fleshly dimension he said flesh and blood will not enter into the kingdom of god or the kingdom of heaven it's another dimension check this story out see if it makes sense to you I can't make you believe. I'm not the one that makes you believe. But I have been given very uh, clear instructions to tell people about it. And uh, hopefully my words will spur you on to care for it. It doesn't matter if, if I do it or not. My stuff may be no good at all. He's going to find you. Whether I say anything, he's going to get you. He promised to do that. All right, this is Gardner Israel signing off.